The, the Great Cypress Swamp, uh, really, uh, God, historically you could go back to the, the, the 1700s, there were some really good descri descriptions of the site, describing it as at one time uh, in excess of 50,000 acres, and today there's really only about, uh, only about 10 to 12,000 acres left of what you could really call the swamp, and of that, uh, Delaware Wildlands owns and manages about 10,500. I'm uh, Andrew Martin. I work for, uh, for Delaware Wildlands here at the Great Cypress Swamp. I'm the field ecologist, uh, project manager, and director of social media for the organization. There's a long history in Sussex County in general, but particularly here, of, of drainage of land to convert uh, you know, what had been seen as unproductive land into uh, productive land, uh, whether that be agriculture or, or, or forestry. In the Great Cypress Swamp, we've seen sort of the, the last area to not really get hit hard by that. And then, uh, you know, there's, there's a history of ditching in the swamp. By the 1930s, uh, a grid of ditches had started to be, be put in in the northern portion of what's left of the swamp. And uh, our more recent efforts have been to kind of block off the drainage in some of those ditches and re-divert water out into what had been wetlands and what we're, what we're seeing really, really successfully restored into wetlands now. We've planted, uh, close to 200,000 Atlantic white cedar now, several thousand bald cypress. We, we've done quite a lot of tree planting out here. In spite of it being called the Great Cypress Swamp, we think it was actually named for Atlantic white cedar because at one point uh, as much as 15 to 25 percent of the swamp would have been Atlantic white cedar. And that was a, a really desirable wood in terms of uh, in terms of some construction. A lot of ship building was done with Atlantic white cedar and uh, it's a naturally rot resistant wood which made it very desirable for that. What we've tried to do is take areas where you know in the past had been very wet over time it become drained and now we're able to re-divert some water into there and they're becoming very suitable for uh, for growing Atlantic white cedar. Naturally functioning wetlands serve a major purpose in in filtering water and making water cleaner and uh, where before this ditch system you know, took water that would come into the swamp and diverted it directly out to Delaware Inland Bays. Um, now we're holding on to that water longer. More of it's getting absorbed into the soil. Um, nutrient runoff is getting picked up by plants. Uh, chemical runoff is broken down by soil microbes and absorbed by plants. The idea here is, you know, really holding on to uh, a major vestige of, of biodiversity on the peninsula. The Great Cypress Swamp is, is the largest contiguous forest remaining on the peninsula and uh, it's it's important to a lot of species that need you know either a lot of woodland or a mosaic of, of habitats that are connected so we have emergent wetlands we have wooded wetlands we have some upland woods and it's all together in one big block and there's some species that need you know that much acreage to to thrive and need that much diverse diversity and habitat for to thrive so it's it's really a, a unique uh, a unique resource on the peninsula